what's up guys welcome back to the brand new video today we're having a look at the yotan y3 projector this is going to be a great mini compact size projector for those who like watching movies and shows from home a quick spec of the yotan y3 projector this has a negative resolution of 720p which is 1280 by 720 as compared to the previous y3 version that one had 480p so it's great to see yotan upgrading this specific model for the exactly the same price at the time of recording of this video you can find this projector on amazon for about 50 us dollars you can also get an additional 10 percent off which brings the price down to 45 dollars i'll be comparing this mini projector to another mini projector that i got about two years ago this was approximately 35 dollars and i can tell you right away that the yotan y3 is way better Yotan also has the Y7 projector, which is a bit more expensive. It's not as compact, but it is a 1080p projector. So that means that it has better clarity. I do have both of those projectors. I've already tested both of them. But today, I'll be having a look at the Y3 projector. I'll try to have a side-by-side -side comparison between this mini projector and the one from Yotan. Now, since it's shipped from Amazon, if you do have Amazon Prime, it will be delivered really quick, approximately just in a few days. So in the front of the box, obviously, we do have the projector itself. It says video projector. This is exactly how it's going to look like. I will have a side-by-side -side unboxing of these two so you can actually see uh, the size of these two projectors and compare both of that. So as you can tell, this is the packaging, very simple. You know, nothing fancy. We do have the brand at the top. Let's open it up. Inside the box, we do have on the left side the projector itself. As you can see, really small and really compact. We'll have a closer look in a bit. And then we do have the power adapter. They have also included an HDMI cable. So that's pretty nice of them. And finally, we do have a remote control. They've also included some cleaning tools for the lens. For the remote control, you will need two AAA batteries. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the non-branded mini projector and the Yotan Y3 projector. And as you can see, they're both really small here on my hands. So the unbranded one, it is even smaller than the Y3 projector. Like I said, it is a 240p resolution. It does not come with a cap protector for the lens, as you can tell. So basically the lens could get scratched really easy and the dust can go in. As you can see, there are some dust over there. It comes in a white and black colorway. On the side, we do have the keystone, which allows you to adjust the vertical angle of the video. We also have a focus ring to adjust the focus depending on the range between the projected wall and the projector itself. On the other side of the projector, we do have some holes right here for the fan. On the back of the projector, we do have an IR sensor, the power port. We do have a headphone jack and plug in your headphones or you can plug in a speaker if it does have a 3.5 millimeter jack. We then have the HDMI port, which you can connect to your PC, laptop, Mac, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch. You can also connect to a TV stick as well as Google Chromecast, which is what I have. And finally, we do have the USB port. So if you do have some movies, RT visuals installed on your computer, you can basically put it on your USB drive, plug it in, and simply play the movies from there. On the bottom of the projector, we do have four rubber feet. We also have this little hole right here to install the projector on a tripod. You also have a little screw right here that which you can unscrew, it goes like that angles the projector i usually use it on top of books so that's pretty good on the top right of the projector there's a little warning that tells you to not look directly to the lens and on top as well we do have a few buttons right here it works extremely well but i highly recommend using the remote control it would just make your life a lot more simple so to set up the projector is really simple all you have to do is plug in the power adapter to the projector right here so where it says power simply plug it in depending on what source you want a video to come from either from your laptop your pc uh, you'll have to use an hdmi cable or if you do have a tv stick or let's say a google chromecast you can plug this in to the hdmi port in this case for this video i'll be using the chromecast right here just to show you guys the video quality and audio quality of this projector i'll be playing some videos on youtube 
So here is the Yoton Y3 projector set up on top of a few boxes. You can set it up however you want. I also got it elevated with the screw mentioned earlier in the video. And here is the video quality on the wall. As you can tell, it is quite blurry. But once again, you can use the focus string on the side of the projector to adjust the video quality. You can also use the keystone if you like to to adjust the angle of the video. If I do turn off the studio lights, as you can see, it makes the room a lot darker, better contrast of the projector. So here I got a video on YouTube, and if I do click on the button right here to Chromecast it on the projector, as you can see, it's gonna project on YouTube. So as you can see, the video quality of the projector is actually pretty good for native resolution of 720p. Um, the video might showing that's flickering a bit. That's what I see on a preview camera screen. Now, if you do have a smaller wall, what you can do is to grab your remote and go to the menu settings and then go down to zoom and you can actually adjust the zoom. Let's say if you go to zero, that's the maximum 100% zooming. And if I go to 25, as you can see, the screen is a lot smaller. It fits better on the wall, depending on the size of the room. So right now I'm gonna do a sound quality of the internal built-in speakers of the projector and see how good it is going to be. It's gonna be at 100% max volume. Yeah, the sound quality of this projector is actually pretty impressive. Like I said, it's not the best speaker out there. I've tested the Yoton Y7 projector. It's louder, it's a bit more clearer. But what I appreciate about this projector right here is that the fan on um, the side of the projector is naturally not that loud. So that way, you know, if you're watching a movie or a TV show during the night, it's not gonna be that loud, which is great.
Sonic the Hedgehog and Westworld, he now stars in Jury Duty. Anyone here have any reason why they don't feel like they would be a good juror for this case? Uh... Yes, um... I feel like there's a chance that I might be an unwelcome, uh, distraction. Why is it? I'm a recognizable public figure. Respectfully, I don't recognize you. So yeah, as you can see, the sound quality and audio quality of the Yotan Y3 projector is really good, especially compared to the other mini projector. If you guys got any questions, make sure to comment below in this video. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.